Hey everybody, it's Green Eagle Zero One here, and yes, I have Jellybang, Jellybang, Jellybang. Okay, so what was all that about? Um, yes, I have Jellybean Android Four Point One on my Galaxy rooted Galaxy Nexus. Um, today is June 29, 2012, and two days ago, Google released Jellybean. Not officially, but they announced it. It's supposed to be like officially coming in about mid-July, but I already have it, and it's only two days after the announcement. Now, how is that possible? Well, one of the developers, they got, because a couple of developers, they got the... They got Jelly Bean, and then one of them actually leaked it out, and they already created a ROM. Um, if you ever root it, this is only for Galaxy Nexus so far. Um, there's Verizon, GSM, and I don't think Spring is available yet, but they're working on it. Um, down below, I have the links to the ROMs. Uh, remember, keep in mind you have to be rooted, and I'm already, you know, assuming that you know how to flash ROMs. If not, there's tons of guides out there. I might do one myself on how to flash ROMs and whatnot. Um, so yeah, do it at your own risk. I'm not responsible for anything. Anyways, um, and of course, this is a Galaxy Nexus Verizon version, um, regular battery, and <clears throat> uh, this is a white battery cover that I bought off of eBay. I actually have a video on it. Just search my channel. It's pretty recent. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a regular Galaxy Nexus Verizon version. So yeah, let's, you know, stop talking about all that. Let's just go into Jelly Bean. So as you can see, new animation there. You want to do that? Bam. So now when you press on it, it's like a new, like, dot thingamabob. Like all these dots following you. So now you have three options. You could go, oh man, you could go right to unlock, left for the camera, or up for Google Now. So, um, I'm not gonna go really in depth in Jelly Bean, because if you watch Google I.O., um, they pretty much announced, like, you can watch that and you'll have all, like, the little things, but I'm just gonna go over the major new stuff. So, um, yeah. Okay, so let's just unlock right now. Here is the, I mean, the home screen looks very similar to, um, Ice Cream Sandwich, except that um the search bar it's a little bit different it has like a little gray shade right there so um of course there's better improved search and um you know what i'm running out of battery so i'm gonna be back with you guys in a little bit so yeah so yeah i was running out of battery i'm sorry about that anyways so continuing on um so yeah it's shaded gray um of course you have the new search features which um there you have your weather and this is all integrated with google now which i'll talk about more later so different look um better and of course it has the new voice search which personally i think was made to compete with apple's surrey or surrey whatever <laughs> however you want to pronounce it but um yeah anyways i'll go over that in a little bit so before that of course, uh, you probably heard this a lot of times already, but one of the biggest things of Jelly Bean is the war against lag, lagginess, which used to be a big, big, big negative factor of Android. Now they've done Project Butter, and with that, to you know, they did that to smooth the whole thing out. And as you can see, it is extremely smooth. Just look at that, very smooth. Absolutely no lag. I press that. There you got your application. Oh, sorry. Well, application very fast. I mean, it might look like it's lagging, but that's just the camera. In real life, this is just like this. And this is a Galaxy Nexus. I mean, not old, very new device, but this is almost as fast as a Samsung Galaxy S3. And that thing has, well, I mean, there's a dual core version and a quad core. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Um, I gotta stop like wandering off like that. Anyways, um, so yeah, practically no lag. Um, let's just open it up. Yeah, I didn't want you to see my Google account there. Okay, anyways, um, share location. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna open up a bunch of um, applications. Do, do, do. Don't you just love opening applications? Okay, so now you have a lot. Now, if you recall on Ice Cream Sandwich, of course you have multitasking also, but um, it used to be a little bit laggy before, like you'd press it and then take like from five seconds for it to actually pop up. Now I opened it up, not that many, but still quite a bit. Before it probably would have lagged a little bit. Now look at this. I press it, instant right there. Those are all the applications, and I mean that's really fast compared to ice cream sandwich. Look at that, bam! And now I'm just gonna swipe all that. Oh yeah, swiping. Anyways, so that's Project Butter. Very very nice makes the whole experience smoother more like ios ios i i know i'm pro android um i don't like ios but you i gotta admit ios is just smooth so now android is really you know living up to its expectations now so that's part of butter now let's get into notifications so for example if you have updates i mean sorry I mean, if you have any notifications, I mean, they've changed everything. As you can see, well, yeah, Verizon Wireless, that's my carrier. But before it used to be like a little dot, now it's a whole line, and when you press it, it turns like, wait, it turns like cyan blue, the ICS blue. So, same Roboto font and everything. Very nice. Um, You also got the new notifications, which is like, you get a call, you can call people right back from the notifications uh, bar. You also got weather and everything from there. Actually, that's cool now. But anyways, and of course, if you want to, you can swipe to clear and click it to, you know, update whatever. Um, very beautiful and refined. Also, if you want to, you know, expand notification, you get two fingers and expand it. This one is doesn't have the option to expand it. But if you get like an email or something like that, then you could expand it. And then you got your clear button. And you're directly to the settings. So you press that and bam, settings. Settings is very similar except a couple of stuff. So yeah, so that's notifications. Next up, um, I'm touching on like five times. Next up is, uh, let's see. Also, this is quick Easter egg. Um, if you go to the settings right here. Hold up. Uh, okay. Okay, if you go into the settings. And you go to about phone. Of course, there's Android version 4.1. You press on that a lot of times. Then you get jelly bean. I mean, if you recall, for an ice cream sandwich, it was a little, you know, ice cream sandwich or Android. Then you press on it, it's like night Nyan cap, but Android version. Now it's a jelly bean. You hold it. And now it's like a space of jelly beans. And they're like all nervous. Now you can like flick them off and. No point to it, but it's a nice time waster. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Flicking those jelly bands. Anyways, it's like awesome. Aside from that, Easter egg, really awesome that Google includes that in many of its Android builds. So there you have that. Also, widgets. Um, Now, if you put like a widget there and let's get another widget. Um, calendar, right? And you put it over it, it actually moves the other widgets and will resize them. So if I put a ton, no bookmarks. Like if I want to put it here. Sorry guys, I did that. It's just that it showed my account. I don't want you guys seeing the account. Um, I'm going to cover this real fast because it's going to save for my account. So... I'm actually failing right now. Let me just use a widget that doesn't require you to have your account. Um, as you can see again, no lag, absolutely at all. Um, music. Okay, now music's pretty. You see, how I just moved those apps right there. It's big. So now, now I'm gonna put one more. Let's put another music and let's see how it resizes everything. Oh, interesting. <laughs> no room. Wow, I actually made it not able to. Do that. Okay, here. Look how it's going to resize everything. Hopefully. I guess you can. But anyways, as you can see, it has a lot of resize itself by itself. Very nice, easier. Helps customization of your home screen. 
a lot. So that was that. Next up, um, another new feature is, of course, Google Now. And now you can access Google Now, as I said before, by flicking up. But I actually notice another way you can access it. You can hold on to your home button, and then there it has a whole other panel. And if you move it up, let go, bam, Google Now. I don't know if they announced that before, but I saw other people and they weren't doing that. So I don't know if I discovered that. That'd be awesome. Anyways, so this is Google Now. Um, if you watch Google I.O., you'll have a full explanation. Pretty much what it does is, instead of you telling the phone what to do, it does things for you. So based on your location and whatnot, it will start, you know, you know, it can determine if there's a subway. Okay, guys, I'm sorry again. Okay, before it was the battery right now, now the SD card was full. So that was just pathetic right there. I'm sorry. Um... Yeah, so anyways, continuing on again, um, here is Google Now, and what I was saying was that according to your location and what you do and what you search, it pretty much um, predicts what you like, where you work, and everything, and according to that, it will, for example, say that, it'll tell you, for example, if you work somewhere and you always take the subway, it'll tell you if a subway is late, like if a train's late, or for example, if you're going, you're flying somewhere and it knows that, it'll tell you if the plane's delayed or, you know, things like that. Very, very nice. And it also tells you the weather and everything. And yeah, so that's Google Now. Much more to that, um, but I'll be here forever if we do that. So another new thing is, of course, the voice search. So I'm going to do that right now. And let's start with asking some questions about people. Let's start with Obama. A lot of people use that as you know what? Let's do Bush. Yeah, George Bush. Not George Bush Jr. Let's see what it says. How tall is George Bush? George W. Bush is 6 feet 0 there inches tall. Extremely fast. Um, Let's see. How old is Kobe Bryant? Kobe Bryant is 33 years old. And as you can see, the voice is much nicer compared to Suri's. Very human-like. Suri's just like robust, ugly, but I like this much better. And it's very fast. Um, let's see math. What is five divided by three? I said that wrong. I said divided, but the answer is one point six six. There you go. One point six 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 seven. Anyways, um. How tall is Mount Everest? Oh. There we go. Mount Everest is 29,029 feet tall. Extremely fast and absolutely amazing. So, there you go. Um, I can ask tons of other questions like... When will Barcelona play another match? Let's see if it recognizes that for soccer. Because they always have baseball. It's working. It's working. Barcelona, you know, famous soccer team in Spain. Let's see if it works. Oh man, taking a long time right there. I just sent me to the web. So, yeah. Let's try pictures. We'll hold up. Let's try pictures. So, um. Show me pictures of monkeys. Oh, monkey. Look at that. And there's a cool, like, transition right there. You see? Okay, that's just gross. But anyways, there we go. So, very, very nice. Um, Very nice for voice recognition. Very fast and fluid. Because of butter also. <laughs> anyways. Yeah. So, now... Um, that's pretty much it. Um, uh, notifications. Oh yes, the camera. I really wanted to show you guys that. Um, the camera has been greatly improved. Now you remember the zero lag, right? So you just okay. So right there. Okay, now it's using flash and turn that off. Do do do. Okay, very fast. 
it's focusing, but if it wasn't focusing, it'd be faster. But anyway, it's very fast. So before, if you want to see a picture, you have to click that. Then you see a picture. If you want to see it in the gallery, you have to click it again, and then you go gallery. Um, gallery, sorry. But now they made it much faster. You want to see a picture you just took? You just slide to the right. I mean, to the left, and there you go. There are all the pictures. And I think this is directly in the gallery. Yeah. So if you want, oh, there. You press again. That it's a gallery. You press it. You want to delete? Okay. And I'll delete the rest later. But anyways, now this is guy, right? Gallery. But so here are all the. But if you do this, no, hold up. If you pinch out, you can see all of them extremely. You know, you can just flick through all the photos that you took. Now I'm going really far. Um. So yeah. Now what's really cool is that while you're watching your photos, you can see your camera also. It's extremely zoomed in. Wait, let me see if you guys can see. But you can also see the camera also here. Let's zoom out, shall we? Okay, you pinch out. Now you can see the camera is working still also, which is very cool. Um, so yeah, and that's the camera improved. Um, they also made it smoother also. But anyways, very very nice. So that's pretty much most of what's new in Jelly Bean. Um. There's also what I saw here, current and yeah. Oh, super SU is a uh, super user. Um, you get that flash is wrong, which I'll link below. Um, also credit goes to. Well, I found the wrong by myself, but um, I'm gonna put the link below, and that's actually gonna send you to Zito Max, his website, and there he has links to the ROMs for the GSM and Verizon version. So credit to him for posting those ROMs and him for just being awesome. So yeah, there you go. There is Google, I mean Android. Sorry, I'm totally failing. Anyways, Android 4.1, Jelly Bean right there on the Galaxy Nexus. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, please subscribe, rate and comment, and yeah, peace.